What is going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Pixel News where we actually have Nintendo Switch modding information today which is very unique and interesting because there hasn't been a lot of hacking information for the Nintendo Switch. But Nintendo Switch hacker Cody Brasius, also known as Dakin, has been working on an exploit or has found an exploit that was actually patched in Nintendo Switch update 3.0.1. It looks like update 3.0.1 in the Nintendo Switch update note says that it addressed an issue in which the remaining battery change can't be displayed correctly or accurately. It actually did a little more than that. Apparently it fixed a huge exploit that could be used for end users to gain access to hacks and homebrew on the Nintendo Switch. So if you are at all interested in hacking your Nintendo Switch in the future, when, when an exploit is actually used to actually gain access to homebrew, then stay on update 3.0.0 or below. Do not update to 3.0.1 or any more updates. I know that's hard with the Nintendo Switch because so much of it is required to use online features and you know a lot of the Nintendo Switch has to use online and that's just a big part of it. So I know some people also tend to buy a Nintendo Switch for hacking purposes just to put aside then they have their main unit which they constantly update. So if you are at all interested like I said do not update. They are saying do not update. It is not just paranoia about this update. It has been confirmed that 3.0.1 fixes and squashes whatever potential exploit could be uh, used. Now this modder Co Cody Brasius, I've been looking at all his tweets and he looks like he is very legit in the scene and he studies security and all that kind of stuff. So he's using hashtag reswitched. That could be the exploit that he's working on or he's trying to get the switch re-switched to something else. We'll have to see. It's really early on you guys, but he is stating do not under any circumstances update to switch os 3.0.1 and he's even been writing a debugger for the nintendo switch he he actually replied in some of the tweets somebody said exploit wise you mean he said yes purely in terms of exploits until we know more we'd have to assume that some good stuff was a patched here's hoping not somebody else tweeted out and said if you confirm they patch an exploit will you public release it and he said yeah anything confirmed patch will be made known at least exploit may not be depends on other non-patched bugs going and looking at some more tweets that he replied to that's kind of late now in terms of not updating to 3.0.1. And then somebody else said, I mean, he said, don't update like a month ago. And the whole scene has been saying, don't update until we tell you since 2.0. So, uh, and then Cody came back and he replied, indeed, we just now know that there's a very major bug. The biggest I've ever seen possibly is fixed in 3.0.1. It's not just being cautious now. So there is some huge exploit that could be levied to gain access to hacks or homebrew. I know some people view this as very controversial since the Switch scene is so new, but it will take time to create like SDKs and stuff so that developers can actually create homebrew. And it's gonna take time to actually exploit the exploits and to you know, create an environment for homebrew. It's not just, you know, you get an exploit and now you have homebrew. It takes a lot more than that, but it's definitely a start. I'd also like to thank the following for contributing to this episode of Pixel News and for contributing to all TC Pixel videos in general. I super appreciate you guys' support on Patreon. It helps a lot, especially with YouTube ads being at such a low rate. So thank you again to Patreon supporters. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter yourself, there's a link in the description. If you enjoy Pixel News or any TC Pixel video at that, please consider checking the link out and, cons and contributing on Patreon. Anyways, guys, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Do you have a Nintendo Switch? Are you interested in the future of Switch modding? Are you going to update anyways just because online features? Or are you going to try to stay on lower firmwares just to see what happens to the Switch scene? Let me know all your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, Big Crew. If you like tuna and tomato sauce, try combining the two. It's really not as bad as it sounds.